Good night, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall is 25 past 10 on Tuesday night. I'm in the Hibernia Hotel in the city of the Cats, Kilkenny. Um, very impressed with it, I must say, as well. I was out of the traps early this morning. We were in Dublin for about half 11, 4.25 past 11. And flight was in early, Air Lufthansa from Germany. Five people aboard. They're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it's a good night I had there at the Irish Fest years ago in the late 80s. Still going strong, to say, but now it doesn't take a week to do it. They do it on three separate weekends. Um, lovely people. Uh, granny, daughter, husband, two kids, 19 and about 10, I'd say. Um, so we came to Kilkenny Strait. We stopped at a Circle K for a snack on the way around the Naas area. And... They done the tour of the castle and we walked around the town. Um, we had the dinner. I had the dinner in Lanigan's uh, stew. Grand, fourteen ninety five, Great value. They could have put a bit more in the bowl though. Uh, you could have brought it up another half an inch. Grand. And I went back and had a couple of pints of Guinness with them there. There was great music altogether. Uh, no microphones two guitars and a banjo playing all the old ones and some of the middle-aged stuff as well thoroughly enjoyable altogether um and the one thing they're putting in a great effort in kilkenny i i haven't stayed here in years the last time i said here was at a stag party which would be a different clientele and it'd be a late night sitting which was about six or half six in the morning but everything there was music in that the fields were in there uh there was music at four o'clock and then there was another band, and there's another another fellow after belting it out there. Now, now the pint is six euro, but you're getting entertainment for it. For it. Um, so I'll be back there again the next time I'm in, and I wouldn't mind coming down for a night myself and a few. Great crack. Um, lovely people. Um, we had. I missed some of the racing there tonight uh, when I was with them. Um, we had three horses today. The first one I mentioned, and it, and I got afraid the last night was a, because it was a big gamble on the favourite that drifted today, Candy, and Amir just drifted out to ten and twelve to one and late money for it and it won, not a shilling on it. Didn't even see the race. Uh, I look at it now and when I finish this, I just seen the result uh, about twenty past three when I arrived in Kilkenny. Um. Don't know why I didn't stick with that and stick with Agnamara. Uh, complicated things, and I don't often say to people, keep it simple, don't complicate it. I complicated it today and I paid the price for it. I thought the bet of the day was that uh, Frenchersburg and the other two, there was money for it, Trojan Stair and uh, the Elliot's horse in Ballon Robe. And this morning I was saying, well, we're definitely going to have one, and it could be a meatloaf day, and the sin of that was zero. Shock and surprised altogether. Um, put all that, Elliot's horse in Ballon Robe, uh, Philip Rills' horse, Jesus Christ Mighty Grant, he, he nearly fell off at the first uh, at Kennedy, and then uh, he got squeezed on the turtle again. They're probably, he's probably thinking, like, you know, bring me out on the outside, why are you putting me in a hole here up near the rail the whole time? Um, Trojan Sun ran no race at all. Thought he'd stay on better like the last day. Um, I'd call that his race the last day. Foleen's gallop. So we won't be going near him again. Um, is, uh, is Richard Grant. I, I, I just thought of him there tonight. He used to be a passenger on the bus. Is he still on the bus? He used to be here in Kilkenny. Uh, I just thought him tonight and there was another fellow from Kilkenny I think he was in I think London or Canada Dick Lane are they still passengers or have they hopped off at the, some stop along the way tomorrow not great stuff either 
the sooner Goodwood and Galway comes, the better. If we're going to race there, uh, no, that's not the race. It's the two fifty. The two fifty at Lingfield. Seldom I go to Lingfield. It just shows you. When I was looking at a nursery last night, and I'm looking at it's a mile five. I thought there was a, an each way shot in it there if the chain remain intact. Is Marmalade Lady. Tom Marquand gets the leg up tomorrow. Ran well enough um, at Lingfield before when the handbrake was off. You can see the handbrake was fully on there the first three times. I got a figure of 52. Mile and a half at Lingfield has only beaten uh, length and a quarter. Then it won in Chepstow. And the last of the stepped it up and trip. And now it ran pretty decent uh, behind the crafty mole. And there was... There was a horse in it that ran behind the crafty mole. Was it the favourite? Yeah, he was third in Tursk. So I thought we had a shot at that tomorrow. Marmalade Lady in the 250 each way bet. We go on to Nace to a listed affair tomorrow. Phillies and Mayor. 15 years short of six furlongs. Has has been won by three year olds for the last number of years. One, two, three, four, five years in a row. Which is four year olds to two years before that. Um, I mentioned last night, or the night before, was it, when Haggis sends something to the Cora. And he has two horses sent to Nace, and one of them got placed. He sent him one over tomorrow, Pinafore. Has a bit to find on the ratings. Rated 100, whereas you have Pearls and Ruby. Ruby's rated 101. But it's the second highest rated in the race. Isn't it the second highest? No, it's her Amazon lady. But that one a handicap the last time. The one that... Well, not the one that Greek Flower... Greek Flower was second. That Frank the Farm since. That was off 93. Probably eight pound for that. But it has sort of the run of the race on the fair rail, so I'm throwing out that for him. Um, I think Pinafore is going to beat that. Now it has for him over seven furlongs, and that's no harem over six in Nace because you have the stiff pull up to the finish. That was a good run in the listed race at seven furlongs in uh, behind Jabara. Beating Soprano and uh, you know, horses raised 100 104. So, Pinafore, what price is it? Seven to one shot. She got through the bookies there, paying four places. That's an each way play as well as four to one the field. And of one win bet as well tomorrow. A mile race is the one, the rail or the distance that suits the one that got away. We were on it in the stole when it won at 12 to 1. I was giving it a shout out the last day at, and I didn't put it up. I put up the other one that did was a non runner, but a second in Dundalk. Um, it's not the best to a contest tomorrow. And I. It could be one of those days that even Kennedy is riding well as well. Keith and Kennedy, isn't it? He 
We'll be finishing fast tomorrow, so hopefully they might do the business. We're heading to um, Killarney tomorrow night. We're staying out the Muckross Road. So we're going to go by Dungarvan in the morning on to Middleton, on to Glen Gareth, and on to Kinmayer, and on to Killarney. So that is a lot of driving. So we're hitting the nest shortly. So we're going to Celtic or Celtic, whichever you want to call it, steps tomorrow night. That's not over until a quarter past ten. So it's unlikely, unless it's very late, that I'll do a video tomorrow night. I might get one done the next morning before uh, I leave uh, Dodge. Uh, if not, I will add it to tonight's video if I spot something. And uh, the weights are out for the two big races in Galway next week. So when I get a chance, uh, the day after tomorrow when they're on the Cliffs of Moher, I'll be trying to get a double, a winner in each race. If I can, uh, that we can play anti post before the decks come in uh, next week. We'll see what else is running at Goodwood next week. We'll try and get a couple of. So in the meantime, bash the bookies over and out.